Right guys, welcome in Kenya. Mutaga Golf Club for the Magical Kenya Open this week. Hey guys, one day, first day in uh, Kenya. Uh, dinner for one tonight. I'm uh, I'm staying near the official, but not in the official this week. Uh, it was fully booked, so I found myself uh, a good uh, other place, uh, just over a shopping center. And uh, I was just walking around here. Got some nice lamb chops with naan. Just walking around trying to find some food and uh, this place looked quite busy. A lot of Indians here as well, big Indian population here in Kenya. And uh, yeah, a lot of Indians were eating here so I thought let's check it out. And, uh, tasting pretty nice I must say. Got all the sauces and the choppies. I'm gonna enjoy this right now. So let's fix that. My man here did a nice job. We're on the way to the cash machine now because uh, we don't take cards. So let's get some cash. Morning, guys. Early morning, 6 30. We're here at the Nairobi National Park main gate. Uh, we're going with an organized safari trip from the tournament. So, uh, about to go into the park, hopefully see some lions hunting. Oh, they dropped the end. Nairobi. Nairobi. Ashkang Ame joining the park. <laughs> <laughs> Sighting, they call it a sighting, right? Sighting. Yeah. So, uh, so there are two cubs and two, two, two adults. Two, two big ones, two little ones. Two big ones, yeah. <laughs> Look at these clowns. Okay, so we've got a little uh, little stop here. As you can see shooting a bit of content for the Magic of Kenya tourist board. And uh, yeah, we're almost three hours in now, so I think everybody's looking forward to a little bit of breakfast. But it was, uh, it was very nice and uh, it's always great, great to uh, just get your mind off things a little bit. All right, that was it for the safari. Nice to get out for a little bit and uh, see the park, see some lines. I haven't seen many lines at all in the, in the safaris that I have done. So uh, it was really nice to come so close and uh, just walking back to my hotel now. Uh, just a chill day today. I uh, got all the practice and course preparation done. 
So today is more about, uh, yeah, just getting the body well for tomorrow. Make sure I'm rested well. Do some chipping and putting, see the physio, and then uh, good to go for 7.30 tea time tomorrow. My hotel. Looks a bit shabby from the outside, but actually it's pretty good on the inside. I'm good, I'm good, thanks. Have you had crocodile? No, man. Keith, you gotta have crocodile. Crocodile, mm. shit. Hi guys, a uh, little different scenery to finish uh, this video with. Um, I'm in Dubai now, I'll tell you guys in a minute uh, why I'm here. Uh, but unfortunately I missed a cut in, in Kenya. And uh, yeah, frustrating result obviously. Um, yeah, you just want to get results and uh, especially I'm feeling like I'm playing pretty nice golf uh, but then when you don't get any results with that it's always very frustrating. Uh, my last three tournaments, yeah, haven't been good results wise um, but my last two tournaments have definitely been very good golf wise. Um, so yeah, I think it's about staying patient right now. Um, I showed a lot of good signs again in Kenya. In in round one, I um, yeah, I had two early birdies and then loads of good chances on six, on eight, on nine, on ten. Uh, but I just didn't convert those. And then yeah, a couple minor mistakes on eleven and thirteen get punished with uh, with bogey. Um, yeah, just missing on the wrong side of the pin and leaving too tough of an up and down. So yeah, there was uh, there was a story of round one, uh, pretty frustrating, plus one, uh, but yeah, with loads of good golf actually. So then you're like, okay, stay cool, just uh, just take this golf to round two, and uh, and you can always go low with that. Um, again, I played nicely in round two. I started off ten, uh, played solid on my first nine holes. Um, but yeah, just a couple couple dumb bogeys, a wedge over the green on 17, you know, flush golf shot, but uh, yeah, a couple meters too far and uh, yeah, in a place where you, you can't hit it. And, uh, and a bogey on the third as well, which is, is not a tough hole, but yeah, iron off the tee, a little bit left and, uh, and snooker behind the tree. So yeah, story of the week, just, a lot of good golf, a lot of great quality golf shots, uh, but not converting the chances and, and yeah, the small mistakes that I'm making uh, get punished with bogey all the time. So um, yeah, I definitely need to clean that up. Uh, I'm not happy with my results in the last few weeks. And um, yeah, that's the reason that I traveled to, uh, to Dubai. Uh, staying in Kenya is not much of an option. And um, yeah, knowing that I'm, I'm not getting into the next event in South Africa, um, I figured I'd just go to Dubai. Um, this is a great place for, uh, for me to go. Um, yeah, I only need to rent a car and, and get a room. Um, so I found myself a nice room here. As you can see with a little kitchen behind and everything I need. And uh, yeah, the good thing is with uh, with European Tour category that you're uh, you're welcome here in Dubai uh, to come play and practice at all the golf courses. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing just that. Uh, got a week of hard work in front of me, and then um, yeah, by the, 
by the looks of it now my next tournament is going to be the Qatar Masters um, because I'm still reserved for the second event in South Africa um, but it looks like fewer guys are going to be playing there so I might have a little chance to sneak in there uh, we'll keep an eye on that but uh, yeah first now a week of hard work here in Dubai um, yeah just got to put my head down now uh, work hard and, uh, and make sure I, I raise the bar and, uh, and get better for my next tournament so um, yeah Kenya was a pleasure for sure uh, the people are always very kind and uh, yeah I can I can definitely recommend a trip there because it's uh, it's very beautiful and very pleasant uh, to travel um, yeah so that's it for now guys uh, I hope you uh, you guys enjoyed this video uh, little uh, insight in some uh, safari and uh, and Nairobi uh, a little different scenery than uh, the normal and um, yeah I'm gonna give you guys a little guided tour from uh, the place where I'll be practicing and also where I practice a lot in, in January, uh, Jebel Ali Golf Resort. So please stay tuned for that one. Please don't forget to uh, subscribe and, uh, and hit the bell to, to stay up to date. And uh, then thank you all for watching again and uh, see you in the next one.